Hey folks, and thanks for joining me. When I left off in the previous video, when I was showing a demonstration in the circuit for the capacitor outside full identification using an electroscope or an electrometer, I also uh, did a little small preview here of a, a Q multiplier circuit. So uh, let's take a closer look at this circuit and uh, just see what you can do with it. Let me briefly describe the construction. You can see I've got everything mounted on a Lazy Susan. And it's so I can just rotate everything around the uh, direction that's needed for the uh, particular radio station. And of course I've got a, a piece of uh, ferrite rod here. I believe it to be type 61. It came from a, a spare radio that I had uh, salvaged back here in the uh, shop. And then the uh, simple Q multiplier circuit using uh, one transistor. The circuit really acts as an oscillator. And uh, just before you get to uh, oscillation is where you want to be with this adjustment right here, this variable resistor, which is precision. And again, you can see it's powered by a 9 volt supply. So uh, let's take it for a little test drive here. And uh, we'll go to a station that's about 60 miles away just using the radio itself and then we'll just use the ferrite rod to uh, through inductance here to couple the two together and then we'll plug in the Q multiplier and uh, see what differences there are. You might be able to hear that again I may be getting some interference from my wireless network connected here to the camera above me. That's uh, 7.30 a.m. out of Charlotte so uh, now let's place the radio back down here and adjust the uh, capacitor and just take advantage of the uh, ferrite antenna uh, coupled back to the uh, ferrite antenna which resides in this area in the receiver. You can increase that sensitivity even more by using the Q multiplier. The Q multiplier again will narrow the bandwidth and sharpen that uh, input signal to a point where it will get bassy. So we'll clip the uh, higher frequencies. You'll notice that if I go too far. And if you go past the cliff, of course, the uh, unit will oscillate as well. Let's hook it back up. So you can hear the difference it makes. Let me tune back over here to another station that's uh, about 40 miles away. And uh, let's see if we can uh, make any improvements there as well. We'll try to be brief here so we're not uh, impacted by any copyright issues. Again, this station's about uh, 40 plus miles away. And uh, you can see the uh, direction from uh, my home place here. And we peak at this location, and uh, let's plug in the Q multiplier. And you can see how that's improving the uh, reception. Again, the coupling between the ferrite and the receiver is important. You can see I get to the point of uh, the oscillation taking over the receiver itself from the uh, circuit. So I can actually uh, reduce the uh, gain here on the uh, little precision resistor and or move the uh, receiver so slightly. So you can see how much it improves the uh, reception just using the ferrite rod with the uh, coupled back to the receiver itself and of course you get nothing just using the old uh, AM receiver itself by itself. Let's uh, look at the circuit now and I uh, hope you guys enjoy building this if you choose to do so. 
it's a good way to uh, supercharge your old uh, AM transistor receivers. A look at the schematic. Again, the inspiration itself came from an article by D. Bolin entitled A Ferrite Aerial Q Multiplier. It was in Practical Wireless in July of 65, so you can reference that article. The big difference here, I'm using an NPN versus a PNP transistor. Other than that, the uh, design is almost a, a mere copy from uh, Mr. Boland's design. Coils L1 and L2 reside on a cardboard former that I made. Again, that's just big enough to slip over the top of the existing uh, ferrite, along with the uh, Litz wire itself, you can see in the drawings here. And in conclusion, the uh, bill of materials itself. So I hope you found the uh, video helpful for those out there that want to extend the uh, range of their little transistor AM radios. If you build it, uh, have fun and enjoy. Everyone out there, uh, take care and stay well.